after transcription, the nucleotide sequence of the RNA is not necessarily set. It can still be changed in a way that the DNA did not program. This is known as RNA editing. The RNA sequence can have nucleotides changed or can have nucleotides inserted or deleted. One of the early proofs of this was an instance in which a frame shift mutation had rendered an RNA useless, but that nucleotides were later inserted through RNA editing so that normal function was restored. This was not programmed by the DNA. In mammals, the most common example of RNA editing occurs when adenosine nucleotides are converted to inosine nucleotides by enzymes known as ADAR enzymes, or adenosine deanimases, also known as adenosine uh, editases. They only act on the double-stranded RNA, which can be found in viral infections, but also in the very large number of RNA transcripts which are produced and never converted into protein. There may be a hundred million sites in the human genome which undergo this RNA editing. And this RNA editing is apparently essential in processes such as the differentiation of hematopoietic stem cells, in the regulation of apoptosis, the regulation of RNA silencing, and other processes. Mutations in ADAR enzymes or deregulation of this RNA editing has been associated with a number of diseases, including cancer. While it is possible that the conversion of adenine to inosine, which is often treated as a guanine, can affect the amino acid sequence of a protein. More typically, its effect is to change the structure of double-stranded RNA, which then has other effects, such as altering intron splicing. There seem to be 700,000 ALU sequences which can undergo RNA editing. If a sequence of RNA possesses two ALU sequences within 3,500 nucleotides of each other in an inverted orientation, this encourages RNA editing, and apparently this is one of the major targets of RNA editing in humans.